Hey, this is Adia, the Trendy Socialite. I hope all is well with you. This is a public service announcement to tell you that being socially responsible is indeed the trendy thing to do. Um, you know, unless you have been living in a cave, you know that this is campaign election season. Um, <clears throat> we have a very important presidential election, but I also want to be sure that you are informed and um, armed with information to make an informed voter decision as it relates to your congressional, any senatorial races, um, gubernatorial races, because those are the people that institute and are expected to implement um, the laws set by the federal government, set by Congress and things like that. And, you know, for congressional and senatorial races, they actually set the laws. So you absolutely have to be as aware and as vigilant about the um, congressional, senatorial, and gubernatorial races as you are about the presidential race. It is important because you can you have seen for the past four years what happens when you have a Congress that is not at all in line with what um, the executive branch of government is trying to do. And I mean, I understand a lot of us are sometimes frustrated and some things like that because we don't see as much forward momentum as maybe we would like but I put forth to you think about have you ever um, encountered a situation on your job or what have you where uh, somebody was just blocking you like every chance they got they were um, critical they were um, condescending about your ideas they just were not cooperative that is what our current president has to deal with every day the Lord sends. So just think about how you would feel in that situation and and that's what he has to deal with. So yes we have a right to be critical and analytical as it relates to how um, government is impacting our day-to-day -day lives. However, think about the context of the situation and how it is different even from Clinton's time in office. So that's why we have to be really, really cognizant of the congressional, senatorial, and gubernatorial races. Also approaching in October is Breast Cancer and Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Excuse me. Um, two causes that are close to me. One, because I, I had a, um, I have, well, lots of family members, I guess, in a way, um, that are cancer survivors, whether it's breast or other forms of cancer. But one in particular cousin that's in my mind right now that is a breast cancer survivor. And the domestic violence awareness. I have done videos about that and how we need to bring awareness to domestic violence. It is not a sexy cause. Um, it is not a glamorous cause like um, cancer and some other um, causes, AIDS research and things like that. But it is one of the most wide-reaching um, social issues um, in this country um, and in this world. It is terrorism against women and children. Elder abuse falls under that. Um, pet abuse falls under that. All of those things fall under domestic violence. And it affects every aspect of our lives, spiritually, financially, um, work-wise, professionally, um, emotionally, obviously, physically. It has such far-reaching and deep-seated impact that a lot of times we don't want to talk about. We have got to remove the stigma from domestic violence. Um, other women don't want to talk about it, whether they're victims or whether they know people that are in abusive relationships. Um, men don't want to talk about it because oftentimes they are abusers, but there is, there is a growing number of men that are victims of domestic violence. So we need to take the covers off of it um, and that's how abusers thrive is because they they thrive in the secrecy and the isolation and we just cannot let that continue to happen um, we need to um, 
remove the stigma from the victims. We need to offer them help and support where and when we can. We don't need to say, well, that's grown folks' business. I don't get involved in things like that. When you strongly suspect and or even know someone, especially that you're close to, is in a domestic violent relationship and situation, I honestly, I just don't see how you can not say anything. I just don't. So, um, I challenge each of you if to really um, step up when it comes to that kind of thing because in that regard, we are our sister's keeper. Um, and so I really encourage you, if you know of a situation or um, if you know of an event or what have you, that is related to domestic violence, give to that cause, go to that event, help raise awareness. Um, a lot of times domestic violence gets put on the back burner in the month of October because it's also Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I champion the cause because it is very, very personal to me of domestic violence and the fact that it is... Um, a very real, um, very definite threat and issue in our community. Um, you need to look at your uh, congressional, senatorial, gubernatorial um, views on that stance because the laws and, and judges, if there are judges races in your area, judges are very, very crucial to the cause of domestic violence. If you have a judge that's not supportive of um, adherence to existing domestic violence laws, creation of new ones, and stricter penalties and sentences for um, abusers, especially chronic abusers, you really need to look at that because you never know, heaven forbid, God forbid, I don't want anyone to ever have to use those laws, but if you do, you want to make sure that you have the full support of the judicial branch behind you. And luckily in Pitt County, we do have a lot of law enforcement, DAs, and judges that are very, very supportive of the cause. But I know that it's not that case everywhere in the country. And you absolutely have to have all three branches of the government supporting that cause. Women, because um, most of my subscribers are women, you have to look at these issues. You have to look at how the government is trying to legislate your life. And you want, if that is indeed going to be the case, you want the best possible person representing you in that race um, or in that particular position. So please, um, oh, and also I wanted to come because there are a lot of issues about um, voter ID and all of that kind of stuff to, in order to be able to vote. And, you know, I think it's wrong and I understand that. And I'm supportive of any effort to try to stop um, people from having to show an ID in order to be able to vote. But at the same time, I feel like if that is the way it's going to go, then also I'm going to beat you at your own game. Because I'm going to make sure every person that I know personally has an ID, has some sort of ID to be able to do that. Um, especially for some elderly people that may not drive and that sort of thing, you absolutely need to make sure that they are properly equipped to be able to vote in case people start trying to do something funky and, and um, you want to just, you know, be able to whip that thing out and be like, bam, here you go. So sometimes we do have to beat them at their own game. Um, so... Uh, the next two months are going to be crucial and critical in the lives of Americans. Um, and we just need to make sure that we are uh, equipped and that we are informed to make um, wise, sound decisions. And we also need to support those causes, especially as women, that affect us. Um, they may not always affect us directly, but they do affect us indirectly. And we need to be supportive of those causes. Um, also want to send my prayers um, out to the ambassador to Libya who was killed in a, an attack yesterday. Um, I just, it's just a sign of the times, y'all. 
it just is. So um, prayers go out to his family and um, to everyone. Like we just really need to do some serious self-evaluation about where we are and what we're doing. And again, remember that tomorrow is not promised. And we need to leave, live each each day of our lives with purpose and um, like it could potentially be our last. So um, just, I don't want to sound overly somber, but I mean, it is food for thought. It is what it is. This is a, the climate that we're living in right now. And we have to adjust and adapt to what we're given. All right. I love you all very much. I'm heading into work. Y'all be Take care and be blessed. Bye.